Hi and welcome to Anime Cons TV podcast, the Artist Alley edition. My name is Svetlana Shmakova and uh, I am a manga and comics author. Uh, we already did a previous installment on the theme of Artist Alleys, uh, the very complex and deep topic that it is. Uh, it was an interview with Melissa McCommon back in the winter. Uh, this one is not an interview. This one is a challenge to myself. I used to do artist alleys fairly regularly back in the day, but I dropped off the circuit because, quite frankly, I was not good at it. Everybody but me could sell my work, but I could not. And I have a new book coming out, uh, my first original book in several years. And it's time to get behind my own work, I thought, and try to level up in presenting myself to the world. And, well, presenting my work to the world. So, I went to the internet uh, in its eternal wisdom and I asked it for help. And many kind people volunteered information and resources and I combed through those and took away uh, for pretty major tips, which I will employ in my leveling up of presenting my work to the world. And I will tell them to you right now. So tip number one that I took away from reading all the resources that people kindly linked me to is have a theme. Now, this is something I realized I never did with my previous attempts to have a table set up at a convention. I just plopped whatever I had and I draw in several different styles so I just had it all uh, and it was it was a mishmash it wasn't anything I wasn't presenting a unified front to the passerby uh, at, a, at the convention so the source that I was reading uh, was suggesting to have something that is not the same, but has a harmony to it, not a mishmash of discordant pieces that have nothing to do with each other, um, but have a, yeah, have a theme. Uh, and I decided since the book that I will be launching at the convention, the first convention that I will go, be going to in months uh, is the most adorable thing I have ever written uh, so I will choose cute as my as my theme. So I'll probably pick stuff like uh, I have a print that has to do with a writer kitten, so I'll probably do that. Uh, I have some fairy bookmarks. Um, we'll pick those. The second tip that I received from the internet is be prepared. This is also something I never ever did. I would show up to a convention table with no tablecloth, no price tags, uh, sometimes no money, <laughs> and I would have to borrow change from fellow artists at the neighboring tables, which was truly embarrassing. But this time, this time, I made a list. Uh, so my supply list, which I also sourced from the various uh, websites that were linked to me, uh, so scissors, you really need those, absolutely, in the most unexpected moments, you need scissors. Scotch tape, also, never there when you need it at a con. Ruler, I can see the need for that. Sticky notes, if I forget price tags, at least I'll have sticky notes. Signing pens and sharpies, also in short, short supply, whenever you need them. Uh, receipts. Also something that I never expected to encounter, but this must be a US thing, a uh, seller's permit. I'll need to look into that. Tablecloth, it is on the list, so I won't forget it this time. Uh, book easels for presentations, they have cheapy ones at like the Dorlish store, so I'll look into getting some of those. Uh, business cards, promo cards, um, something that I thought was really interesting. I saw it on a friend's artist alley table. It was a little stand-up card that had her social network handles on it. And it said, take a picture with the picture of a camera. And th I thought that was a really great idea for people uh, who like your work uh, and would like to find you later. 
they can just snap a shot. They don't have to write anything down. Medicine. People who have presented at conventions know that headaches come on swift and fierce, and you better have some Tylenol or Advil with you. And also, there's upset tummies because convention food, right? Uh, and price list, price tags. I'm sure I'll add to this list as time goes on and my preparation proceeds. But this is my list so far. Uh, tip three, plan the display. Do it at home so that when you get to your table, uh, you're not paralyzed by what do I do with all this stuff that I brought. Uh, I've looked at photos online of setups that people have made. I was very intimidated <laughs> by what they have done, the structures that they have built on their tables. Uh, I don't think I'll get there quite uh, this fast. I'll just try to get away with a cardboard set. Uh, one of the things that everyone was suggesting in those posts um, is to build up so not so that your stuff is not just flat on the table uh, but it, it's facing the people passing by so that they can look at it like at a person rather than what's that down there it's a little far uh, <clears throat> so building up with uh, stands easels uh, having a banner uh, a stand-up banner behind you or in front of the table depending on the table setup and the convention rules uh, the post also suggested to not clutter up the space and give your items space to breathe so it doesn't uh, people get choice paralysis apparently and i get that i get choice par paralysis when i'm faced with too many things uh, so having items well framed by negative space to use some artsy talk there uh, have different price points on your table. Uh, they recommend uh, ten from like a dollar to ten dollars, the low price point, uh, from ten to thirty, the medium price point, and then like the higher ones, depending on what your prices are. And I added this myself. I haven't seen this mentioned, but I've forgotten to add this to my table, and people always ask your contact information and that card that I was mentioning earlier where people can just take a picture of it and all your social network handles are on it is great for that. So just a little standy thingy. I'm going to make one. Tip number four, bring things to sell. Now this may seem like a no-brainer, but again, I have done this. I have shown up to conventions with nothing to, well, not nothing to sell, but like a thing that I had to offer <laughs> and this giant table that I had to fill with this one thing. So this time I will not make this mistake. Uh, it's a month away from San Japan where I will have my table that I'm making myself battle ready for right now. And uh, that's where we will be launching the new book which comes out around the, sem the same time. So my things to sell I made a list again <clears throat> and I lost it I had a list oh here we go I have my list <laughs> so I will have the book I'll need to order a box from the publisher uh, I will have I should say I plan to have <laughs> we'll see if I will have uh, I plan to have a collection of uh, Svetlani with Neverly's and short stories, uh, a book that I will print at lulu.com. It's a printer we've been uh, printer on demand uh, we've been using for a while for my uh, comics collective anth anthologies and we've had good experience with them. It's good quality, sturdy, uh, sturdy binding. Uh, I'll have bookmarks which I'll make myself. Uh, I've already done some. We'll see how many I actually get done. Uh, prints, uh, I've done them through Lulu before, but uh, several people have suggested catprint.com and they said that uh, they have a cardstock which is almost like watercolor paper. 
I am really curious to try that, so I will try them. And maybe stickers? Uh, PSprint.com, we had a really good experience with them printing cards, uh, postcards. They were fast, they were um, very courteous, and the price was great, and the quality was amazing. So I can try stickers. Uh, also, I've seen people do buttons, so maybe try that. But I will have things to sell in a month. And just so you know, uh, this is actually part one. This is the part where the cliffhanger comes. Uh, in part two, you get to find out, uh, this part is called the plan. Uh, part two will be called the result, where we will shoot a video of my table. It will either look really sad, as it always has over the previous years, or maybe it'll look amazing after I follow these four tips that I uh, that I was presented with by the kindness of Tumblr and internet. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for me and for Anime Cons TV, uh, please uh, call and write us at the address below. They will put the information here. And in the meantime, uh, there were also several uh, resource links um, shown to me where it's communities of artists and it's called, it's specifically for artists presenting in artist alleys at different conventions and they will be scrolling right now for you. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Svetlana Shmakova for Anime Cons TV.